Good morning, good afternoon, good evening internet, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Economical Rides. Hi there, so as you can see this is Norman still dirty from his last little adventure and today we're going in for his first service so I thought I'd just take you along with me we'll do a little vlog and uh, yeah we'll see how the first service goes I should be getting my USB port fitted today as well so that will be good then we'll be all set for six months of getting dirty. So, let's go.
like it. Yeah, so now we've just got a boring punch down the motorway for about 20 minutes. And then we should be in Almeria. See you there. Well, as you can see by the palm trees there, uh, it's another windy day. What a surprise. I have heard a rumour that actually from next week onwards this crazy wind should finally disappear but we've had it literally since New Year up until now. Every day it's been windy like this. Absolutely crazy. It'd be nice if uh, the wind finally decides to bog off next week, definitely. Make a nice change. made it here so I better uh, drop Norman off and I'll just be hanging around until they finish so uh, in that time why don't you enjoy this new other bods dog segment and I'll join you when Norman's had his service hopefully see you then Welcome back to Other Bods Dogs. It's been a while. So in this segment, we introduce some of Ruby's fluffy friends. Many of them are actually regular sausage donators. So she's very keen to feature them in her videos. Obviously her videos, not mine. So yeah, here we go. Other Bods Dogs. So today's first doggy is Oliver from Germany, his dog Gizmo. As you can see here, Gizmo is a real cutie. This is Gizmo playing. Like most dogs, Gizmo likes to keep up on his beauty sleep. As you can see here, he's looking quite stressed. And much like Ruby, Gizmo enjoys going out in his dad's convertible. So thanks Oliver and Gizmo. We hope you enjoyed being in this little segment. Next up from Sweden, we have Lillian's dogs, Bozio and Freydis. This is Bozio, as you can see, he's a big boy. And this is Freydis, she's a big girl. And as you can see here, the two of them are best friends. And I think this was a really inspired color choice, Lillian, um, a black dog, gives great contrast against that snow you get there in Sweden. So they're probably a lot easier to find than a white dog would be. So I'd say that was a good shout. So thank you Bozio and Freydis and thank you Lillian. Next up we have Bob Kidd and his uh, departed doggy Sydney. 
Now, you may recall these two from a recent sausage donation. Now, Sydney is unfortunately no longer with us. She's already crossed the Rainbow Bridge. But uh, Bob says that she didn't really care for his motorbikes, but she did love going out in his convertible. And as you can see here, she had a rather fetching little cap for that purpose. So, Sydney, lovely to have you again on the channel. Thank you, Bob. And last, but by no means least, I have two dogs whose pictures were sent to me from Cornish Motorcycle Diaries. Check out his YouTube channel if you haven't already. I shall link to it in the video description. So, Cornish Motorcycle Diaries sent me a picture of Chili, his Springer Spaniel. Here he is. And he also sent me a picture of his uh, recently departed and sorely missed Collie Cross, Basil. Apparently Basil loved everybody and he was particularly partial to cheese. Something which Ruby shares. She's also partial to cheese. So thank you very much Cornish Motorcycle Diaries for your pictures of your lovely doggies. And yeah, thank you to everyone who contributed for this segment. Ruby says you're all gorgeous. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this little segment. Sorry, Ruby, but now we have to get back to the boring motorcycle stuff. Here we are, Norman's had his first service. It wasn't very expensive. It's about 70 euros, I'm guessing. Ta-da! So we're all set, we're all good to go. So time to get out of Dodge. Right, so I did this outro on the motorway already, but it's so windy today that that, that may not actually be of any use, so I'm going to do it again. But it's a little less windy here. So overall I'd say that was a successful first service. I think it came in at about 80 euros. I bought some other bits and pieces, so I'm not sure exactly what the service cost, but it wouldn't have been much more than 80. Obviously they fitted the USB port, which is great, so I've now got that. And obviously I've got a free trip up because I wasn't expecting a trip with the bike, but as it's there, it's a freebie, so fair enough. I might use it from time to time. It's not a lot of use to be on the trails, obviously. Um, while I was there, I, I was able to pick up the final paperwork. I only had provisional paperwork when I collected the bike. So again, every job ticked off. So yeah, very happy. Norman's running well. And now I've got six months of hopefully uninterrupted trail exploring ahead of us. So anyway, a bit of a boring video this one. Um, I'll try and make some sort of a vlog out of it. I just thought I'd bring you along with me. I hope you enjoyed the little other pods dog segment we managed to squeeze in there. Thank you to everybody for your dog submissions. If you'd like your dog be featured, please let me know and uh, maybe send me some pictures on my Instagram which is economical rides written together as one word so another red light so anyway now I've got to get home and give Ruby her sausage so I'm going to fight my way through the wind so I'll leave you now thank you very much for watching and uh, take care and I look forward to seeing you in a future video bye bye so Ruby thank you for looking after the house for daddy Everything's still there. Great job. Now it's time for sausages. And these sausages are from your cousin Georgie in Canada. Georgie sent you these. She likes sausages too. <coughs> sausages. <coughs> Thanks cousin Georgie. Nice one.
Hm. Na, ich war.